Hello guys, today I want to quickly show you, this will be a pretty quick video, how to use Laravel Telescope for measuring eloquent queries. So currently I'm working on the optimization of my Booking.com API course with Postman and you don't have anything visual. So visual, if you had a website, then I would use probably Laravel debug bar which would show all the queries at the bottom of the web page. But we don't have a page here, we have the API call. So how to measure the queries and how to identify the slower queries. So I will show you Laravel Telescope, how it works. Installation of Laravel Telescope is very easy. So compose or require, telescope install, and then migrate, that's it. And then in the database, you would have the structure of telescope entries, telescope monitoring, and telescope something. So a few database tables and the dashboard, which you can check for queries, for example, like this. So if I launch a query in the postman, search query, time is 600 milliseconds, which may be improved. And this is exactly what I'm working on. And in the telescope, we have queries logged. So immediately I see N plus one query issue because there are repeating queries and I will fix that for that upcoming lesson. But what I wanted to emphasize is this one, this line, see a different color. 300 millisecond for this specific query. That's how Telescope identifies and shows you slower queries. So you can click and see the details. This is the query. And I will debug behind the scenes which part is actually slowing down. Maybe some index is missing. Maybe end exist here is pretty slow because I'm using where has in the query or maybe the dates needs indexing. That's a separate topic, but what I wanted to show you how to use telescope. So duration of the query is 300 milliseconds and how telescope identifies the slower queries. So these are not slow. These are like one millisecond, 17, but this one is identified as slow. Why? Because in config of the telescope, there's this parameter. So there are a few parameters for every watcher. So each menu item here is a watcher for something, for events, for gates, for mail or something. So query watcher has a parameter of slow and by default it's 100. So if we change that to 50 for example and relaunch the query, now it's a bit faster and let's see load new entries and we have this identified as slow as well, not only that query. But I already see the similarities in those queries, so maybe those are related. And by optimizing one of them, I will optimize actually both. So yeah, that's all I quickly wanted to show you. For API queries, use Laravel Telescope for debugging and identify slower queries with this badge. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.